Hello friends, this video on how do organisms reproduce part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the question is, now if we want to limit the number of children, that means we, that means the female should not get pregnant unnecessarily. Now what are the ways by which a female can avoid to get pregnant? Even though they have an intercourse, the female will not get pregnant. What are the ways. So let us look at some of the ways. The process or the phenomenon of avoiding pregnancy is known as contraception. Now there are various ways by which pregnancy can be avoided. So let us look at some of them. The first way is use of condoms. What are condoms? Condoms are balloon like elastic covering that tightly fits over the pens. Now see these ways, what will they do? They will actually stop the fusion of the male and the female gamete. Because the, this pregnancy happens when, when the fusion between the sperm and the ovum takes place. Now, if by any way we can stop that fusion, there will be no pregnancy, right? So, even though two people have sex, but if there is no fusion between the sperm and the ovum, there will be no pregnancy. So there are some ways by which that fusion can be avoided. So one way is use of condoms. This is how they look like. They are these kind of coverings which are in the shape of the penis. So they fit exactly tight over the penis. So now after putting this covering over the penis, the sperms which are ejaculated by the penis, they get collected in this covering. So this covering will collect all the sperms. So the sperms will not at all go inside the body of the female. And when the sperms are not at all entered inside the body of the female, there is no chance of getting pregnant because there will be no fertilization at all. Right? So these condoms are a very effective way of contraception. By using them, preg unwanted pregnancy can be avoided. The next way is the use of oral contraceptive pills. There are some tablets available in the markets which has to be taken daily by the female. So the female takes this tablet daily and this tablet does not allow ovulation to occur. Ovulation means the release of the egg from the ovary. So the ovary will not release the egg at all. Now if the egg is not at all released, so even if the sperm is, enters inside the body of the female, what will the sperm do? The sperm needs an ovum for fusion. So there is no ovum at all because the egg is not at all released by the ovum. So the sperm needs the egg for fertilization. There is no egg, so no fertilization, so no pregnancy. Right? However, these kind of oral contraceptive pills also do have some side effects in the long run. So they should be taken only after consulting with the doctors. There are another surgical methods as well. There are some surgical ways also by which pregnancy can be avoided. Now there are two types of surgical method. One is for the males and the other one is for the females. One is called vasectomy. Vasectomy means the removal of a small portion of vas difference. Now if you look at the body of the males, we see we saw that there is a tube which actually carries the sperm. This tube is vas difference. So what they do? They remove a small portion of the vas difference. Let us suppose this small portion is cut. So if you cut this tube in between, what will happen? The sperm will not get carried by this tube. Right? So there will be no sperm which will get ejaculated. So there will be no fertilization, no pregnancy. Right? So this is a surgical method. So by surgery, the doctors will actually uh, block this path. They will remove a small portion of this tube. Similarly, there is a surgical method in females that is called tubectomy. So the vasectomy got this name from vas, that is vas difference. Similarly, tubectomy got its name from tube. So in females, we have the fallopian tube, right? So a small portion of the fallopian tube is removed like this. Let us suppose a small portion is removed like this or a small portion is removed like this. So what will happen? Even though the egg is released from the ovary, so the egg will be here, but the sperm will not be able to reach the egg because the fallopian tube is broken in between. So the egg and the sperm will not be able to meet each other. So there will be no fusion, so there will be no fertilization and no pregnancy. 
So these are the surgical methods of avoiding pregnancy. So these methods should be done only when a couple plans that they are not going to have any more babies in future. So they can get these surgeries done. Right? So these are some of the ways by which people can um, actually avoid pregnancy. Right? Okay. Now let us talk about the sexually transmitted diseases. As I said, there are quite a number of diseases which are communicable, that means they are infectious. They spread from one person to another, but they spread by means of sexual contact. So during intercourse, the penis of a male is inserted inside the vagina of a female. That means two persons are in sexual contact with each other. Now, these kind of diseases spread through the, this sexual contact. So there are some diseases like gonorrhea, syphilis, HIV AIDS, and genital and anal warts. These are some of the diseases which spread by sexual contact. Gonorrhea and syphilis are some of the diseases which are caused by bacteria. Now, syphilis is curable to some extent by the help of antibiotics. HIV AIDS is caused by the HIV virus. AIDS is acquired immune deficiency syndrome. What is AIDS? It is acquired AIDS is acquired immune deficiency syndrome. So it is caused by the HIV virus. So what does this virus do? This is a very deadly disease and there is no cure for AIDS. What happens in this disease? This HIV virus directly attacks the immune system of the body. Now you know how important the immune system is in the body. The immune system is the shoulder of our body. The immune system actually protects the body from all kind of infections. So when the HIV virus hits and targets the immune system, the immune system of the body is completely destroyed and the even small infections become so fatal and the person dies due to various types of infection. And unfortunately, there is no cure for AIDS at all. So it is very, very important to have safe sex so that these kind of diseases do not get transmitted. Similarly, genital and anal warts also are transmitted by viruses. So these are some of the diseases which get transmitted sexually and that is why people should be aware of the precautions which they should take in order to prevent the transmission of such diseases. Now, what are the ways or what are the preventions that can be taken to prevent these STDs? First is use of condoms. Now, if condoms are used, what will happen? Condom is like a covering on the penis. So, if this is the penis of a male, when a condom is put over the penis, what happens? And now the penis is inserted inside the female vagina. That means the penis is not in direct contact with the vagina. So there is a barrier between the penis and the uh, vagina. So the transmission of the sex, the, these viruses will become, will reduce at least. So use of condoms is a good thing for two, it, it prevents the transmission of sexually transmitted diseases and it also helps to prevent unwanted pregnancy. Wash before and after intercourse to maintain the hygiene because the reproductive organs which are involved in this process, they should be kept under proper hygiene so that infections can be avoided. Confirm that a new partner is HIV tested before intercourse. So since it spreads on sexual contact, so it is good to get an HIV test done for every person so that we know that the person, that the partner is HIV negative, right? So these are some of the ways by which people can prevent the sexually transmitted diseases. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson, that is how do organisms reproduce? And I hope that this video would have helped you to understand the concepts, to understand the processes, how reproduction takes place in different living organisms. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.